Sup, yeah, Joe. The thumbnail pick. <laughs> People want to make it seem like it's natural making like a stupid face for a thumbnail pick, but then like, you know, when you actually film yourself doing it, it's like, it's like, <laughs> whatever. I guess whatever gets the clicks, right? It's the goal. Shit. Quick little backstory. The more I do these videos on mine, the more I guess I start to see the overall goal I wanted with my channel. Uh, for the longest time, I thought, you know, the best option to go would be to get a camera, right? What? I mean, I'm not gonna go off pretending like uh, I know cameras. And that's another thing. Uh, me working with Paul, handling the cameras and stuff like that, that he has, um, I can definitely tell you for a fact that one, I just not interested in that um, side of technology. <laughs> not because I don't uh, respect it, but just like, you know, the concept of me understanding the frames and this and that, yada yada, it just doesn't click for me. And for the most part, and <laughs> this is something that Paul kind of gives me shit for doing and I try not to do is that I usually set the camera to auto right and yeah like uh, you get way better image quality when you do everything manually and then you finish off in post right the thing with me is that I want to try to figure out a way to get things done faster in post right not necessarily like to half-ass shit or skip steps that are necessary but more about just like okay what can i do to work with what i got make it look as good as possible and then like you know mess around with it and then deliver a good product right so my whole thing at least in my head is learning to accept um to work with what the technology is able to provide for you right at your smartphones now i'm using a the fuck is this i know it's an lg phone it's just a motorola one 5G Ace. That's the model I have. When I got this phone, like, uh, I was upgrading to like an old phone because the battery kept dying and like... Actually, I still have that shit. Yeah, this shit. It was an old OG phone. You can tell it had like a basic standard camera. So I was using this guy to film and like, uh, it's so shit, right? Like, uh, I was only filming at 30 frames per second. I didn't do good, right? So when this phone started to take a shit, I upgraded to this phone and like, you can tell like it had like a better camera system right there, right? There's a built-in light and all that good stuff and like um, I asked the guy I'm like I need a phone that has like a good camera You know along with other you know hardware and shit like that So I got this guy for just over 300 bucks or, or whatever and uh, yeah, it does well Not as good as an actual camera that costs thousands of dollars, you know, but I mean it is it does well, right? Enter like my other interest about uh, smartphones and it's uh, I was thinking about using getting a um probably an iPhone, right? I've been watching like videos about like the new iPhones that be coming out with like the built-in like sensor, the technology and all this other shit compared to actual, you know, DSLR cameras and like I'm actually liking the result that I'm seeing through these videos and I'm thinking of potentially um, getting myself an iPhone in the near future. Not at the moment, but I see myself going in that direction. Now, the thing with smartphones, I want to be in an environment or in a situation or in a position where all I can do is pull out my phone, film, and like, you know, I'm just a guy walking around with a camera, right? And like the way how things are going with smartphones, in particular from what I see with, uh, say like an iPhone, I'm very impressed with like the overall image quality of it. The other thing about like uh, me wanting to use smart cameras more to film is basically cloud storage, right? Now, if I was to like film, but the moment I stop filming or I take a picture, I can back up all my footage into the cloud, right? And at the moment I have like unlimited data plan. So if I was to do that and also like, you know, sync up like my footage to the cloud using my data plan, then it's not an issue, right? By the time I get home, you know, I can have it set up to where like the whatever gets synced up to the cloud because it gets synced up to my uh, desktop. So I have the footage ready to go. And if for whatever reason something happens, like, I don't know, and say like if I lost my phone or whatever, you know, or I just can't access like the footage or some, for some dumb reason, then at least that footage, you know, it's in the cloud or it's in, got transferred to my computer, right? So I'm um, doing like a sync folder thing. Um, another reason like I wanted to use the phone is simply because like uh, the way how I see it, like a lot of like, um, I like to have like the, technology work for me right like i said i'm not into cameras like not understanding how things work in the sense of like the iso the focal length the lens and all this shit i'm not into that personally it's not me right having like the phone have this built-in technology adjust the image for me in the sense of like adding the sharpness the white balance doing all that shit automatically i am okay with that 100 percent um, as an editor, I kind of have a pretty good idea of how to get that footage and work with it and make it look a little bit better, you know, in uh, post, right? For me, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So like, that's another reason. But anyways, the point I'm trying to make with this video is that like, I think I reached a point where like I made a decision in the sense of like, um, how to continue producing my videos. I want to keep it as simple as possible for the primary reason of like, 
from what I can tell from communicating with you guys uh, often is that uh, a lot of you guys mainly just want to film out of a hobby or you guys are just starting out. So whether you want to film yourself work, whether you're doing like your sculptures, you know, building something, or uh, you guys, you know, you want to go fishing, you want to start making little like mini videos of you fishing and stuff like that. And obviously like the best tool is basically what you already have in your pocket, right? And for the most part, like it's a good starting point. Uh, and as you get more involved with your filming, you start to see what works for you and what doesn't. If you're okay with the overall image quality that you get with your phone not being great, cool, stick with that. And for whatever reason, say like me, I want to ditch the gimbal and try to film everything by hand more and you know depend more on like the built-in technology that's in the phone to like you know give me a good image to work with then yeah then I'll probably I'm gonna in my case I want to step up to something else say like the iPhone uh, it doesn't have to be the iPhone but I'm just saying like that's at the moment that's where I'm heading towards because I can see what I like there and if I find another phone that like offers me something similar to what the iPhone has to offer for equal or less price then cool I'll go there right yeah I want to get another phone for like the software reasons better image quality, uh, being able to back up my footage, and so on and so forth. There's a lot that goes into my idea of what I want to achieve with my videos. And that evolves with me getting a better phone, right? So that's where, I, that's where I'm at. <laughs> but anyways, this video is going on long enough. I need to stop it here. Thank you so much for hearing me talk. I really appreciate it. <laughs> All right, man. Talk to you guys next time. Peace.